In this video, we are going to look at the pH scale, what it is, and how to just understand the concept, okay, the basic concept of the pH scale. So whenever we're working with acids and bases, we talk about what the pH of that solution is. Okay, so you're, you're looking at how acidic or how basic it is. It's somewhere on the pH scale, and that's, that is what the pH scale is, okay? The pH scale is a scale from 0 to 14 that tells us how acidic spelled correctly, acidic or basic, the solution is, okay, or any solution is. And the way that we can tell how acidic or basic something is, is based off of whether or not they would have some H plus ions in the solution, which would make it acidic. And really, they never stay as H plus in water, right? So H plus turns into H3O plus, it turns into hydronium. Or if it's basic, it would have more OH minus particles in the solution, so more hydroxide. Okay, so the more and more acidic that it is on the pH scale, the more H pluses, H3O pluses, and the more and more basic it is, the more OH minuses, the more hydroxides. Okay, so that's all the pH scale is, is it just tells us how much H plus or OH minus is actually in a, in a solution. Okay, so here's what my pH scale would look like, right? It has a range of zero all the way up to 14, okay? The seven, you're directly in the middle of your pH scale. At seven, you have the exact same amount of acid particles as base particles. So right at seven in the middle, this is neutral. Okay, seven is neutral. So this would be like pure water at seven. Anything that's below seven, okay, so Anything to the left, right? Anything below seven is acidic. Anything to the right, anything above seven is a base. Okay, so, um, and then pink and blue, all right, or, or red and blue, if you had litmus paper and you used your litmus paper in a solution, if it was red or, or a pink color, um, that would mean it was acidic. If it was blue, it would mean it was basic. So just trying to hammer that into your brain as well, okay? So um, if it helps you to remember, if you're looking at the pH scale and you have a, a, you know, a scale that goes like this, seven, zero, a bunch of numbers, all the way up to 14, and you can't remember which is which, just go alphabetical, A to B, okay? Acid's on this side, base is on that side. Okay, now the, the cool part, about your acid base and your pH, right? So uh, to have an acid, you have to have some H plus. Really, it's, it's H3O plus, but bear with me, right? You've got some H plus. A base has OH minus, okay? What happens when you add an acid and base together? You're adding H plus and OH minus. I have HOH, I get H to O. Okay, so the, the, basically the, the more I'm towards the center of my pH scale, the more neutral that solution is. So the more able I'd be able to like drink something that's, that's towards the center. Okay, um, that wouldn't like harm us. Uh, so like citric acid, um, milk is even within, like milk is not a pure pH of seven. Coffee is like a six or something. I think pure rainwater is like a like a five. It's more acidic. You have acid rain that's even further down. We'll look at a sliding scale. But the further out you get towards the ends, that's when you're getting to stuff that's dangerous. Okay, so like like a two is uh, like the acid in your stomach, your stomach acid. Um, talking about like battery acid and such over over in this area. Okay, um, like the the one to two range. So some pretty corrosive stuff. If you're going all the way up to like, you know, somewhere in like the, the 8, 9, 10, 11, you're talking about regular soap, okay, which we all use, hopefully, right? Wash those hands. But if you're working into like the 13, 14 range, you're talking about like oven cleaner or, 
um, like drain cleaner, which would be why these things are so poisonous, okay? All right, so hopefully we understand this part, okay? So seven is neutral. If I have a pH that's below seven, it's acidic. pH above seven, it's basic. All right, one other thing to understand about the pH scale is that it is a logarithmic scale, okay? pH is a log scale, okay? So log scales are actually really important to understand, especially now, okay? Most of those like COVID-19 graphs that you're seeing with like exponential growth are, are logarithmic scales, but they're log scales. We, we wanna understand what these are and how to graph them. We use them all the time in science, okay? Log, you're talking about things that are exponential. Okay, so random example. If I had a solution that had a pH of four and I add more acid in there and this changes to now have a pH of three, okay? So I went from a four down to a three. I'm getting more and more acidic. If you're just looking at the pH scale, you're like, no, I moved one number, right? I went from four to three. But since this is a logarithmic scale, I actually increased my, my H pluses, right? Because I'm getting more acidic. So that means you have more H plus, which really means you have more H3O plus, all right? But just going from four to three, it's not changing by one. I'm not changing the concentration by one. I'm changing it by a factor of 10. So to go from four to three, I would have now 10 times the H plus concentration that I did at four. If I had a, uh, an acid that went from four and I added more acid to it and it went down to a two, right? So I changed the, the concentration. I changed the pH from four all the way down to two. I'm getting more acidic. That means now I have 100 times the hydronium concentration. Okay, but now I would have a hundred times the amount of H plus in that solution. Okay, so it may seem like, oh, whoop de doo I changed my number just by two numbers on the pH scale, but that's logarithmic, right? That's exponential. So I'm changing it by a factor of 10 by a factor of 100. So you can see if I, you know, same thing on the base scale. If I just had regular soap at like 10 versus if I had oven cleaner at 14, you're talking about 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000 times the concentration of hydroxide in this oven cleaner solution than I would in just regular hand soap. Okay, so uh, just understand the, the gigantic scale here that we're talking about when you're talking about logarithmic scale. Okay, we're talking exponential. Okay, so that's those are the two kind of big key pieces to understand for the, the concept of a pH scale. All right, pH scale, again, tells us how acidic or how basic a solution is. Right at seven in the middle is neutral, so that means I have an even amount. I have an equal amount of hydronium from my acid and hydroxide from my base when I'm at seven. Uh, and it's a logarithmic scale, right? So make sure we understand that a, a small change in pH is actually an exponential change in how much acidic particles or or basic particles, right? Hydronium or hydroxide that's actually in that solution.